Oh, good evening, folks. How are you doing? It's lovely to see you again, as usual. And thank you so much for taking the next five minutes out of your day to spend with me. And I'll show you what I made for the family meals this week. And just at the end of Meals of the Week, I've got the winner for your Degusta box for April. So if you've entered that, make sure to stay on for that. If this is your first time here, my name's Cheryl. We are a family of four from the west coast of Scotland. And if you do like these kinds of videos, why not consider subscribing just before you go. On Monday, we had steak. These were the steaks from Lidl. Yeah, from Lidl. And they were absolutely delicious. You know, for the price, you just, you just can't go wrong. And we had some hash browns, a wee bit of buttered corn, some chestnut mushrooms, a wee jug of peppercorn sauce, some garden peas, and a few onion rings at the side. So just your typical steak dinner, minus the chips. So we've got the hash browns just for a wee change and it was absolutely delicious and one we love. Moving on to Tuesday I made spaghetti and meatballs so we had the fresh egg spaghetti which you know it just cooks so well perfect every time and these were the meatballs from Marks and Spencers and I made my own marinara sauce so there's onions and garlic and basil and uh, cheese there's all sorts in that sauce and it's absolutely delicious I actually add a jar of pasta sauce to my sauce just to give it a wee bit of extra richness these were the meatballs here I just fry these off in the pan and then add them to my sauce and that's just the way I serve them but they were lovely Moving on to Wednesday, it was just me and Mr Watts for tea and we had these wee salmon fillets. We don't have salmon all that often. I'm not the biggest fan, you know, it's got very, very mild flavour, but it is nice for a wee change. And we had some broccoli, some lemon and dill sauce just for over the top and a few new potatoes on the side with a wee bit of butter and parsley. This was them here, just out of the oven. And moving on to Thursday, we had very simple soup and rolls. It was quite a warm day, so I like to crack out the soup and rolls for those lazy, lazy days. I do have a video recipe for these rolls. I will leave in the description box down below, along with the video recipe for the soup. That's a homemade soup. There's ham and vegetables and lentils in there, and it's just lovely. And on the rolls, we've just got some cheese and tomato with a few salted crisps at the side. And this was the soup here when everybody had had their portions so there's still quite a bit left in there and I will just freeze this and I slow cook the ham before adding it into the soup it was lovely moving on to Friday we had these wee individual chicken and ham pies with some leftover ham and again I do have a video recipe for these wee pies I will leave linked underneath in the description box we had some cauliflower cheese at the side and I had some leftover mashed potato in the freezer. So we all had a wee bit of mashed potato as well, just to, you know, reduce the stuff that's in the freezer because, I, you know, it is mounting up a wee bit. But it was absolutely delicious. And I also made a beef chilli and this is just to portion up and pop into the freezer as well. And this makes a lovely jacket potato filling or, you know, just in its own with a big hunk of crusty bread or something. So that's just a very simple beef chilli and like I said when this cools down or when it did cool down <laughs> I portioned this up and popped into freezer bags and yeah just pop that into the freezer great idea and moving on to yesterday, we had creamy chicken and mushroom. So this was done using the chicken tonight sauce. We had a jacket potato with a wee bit of butter, some sweet corn. I think sweet corn goes brilliant with any kind of chicken. And that's the chicken tonight. So I just added my own chicken breast and mushrooms and it was really tasty. I don't know if I'd rush out to get this one again, you know, but it is nice for a wee change. I didn't fancy this. So I actually had a jacket potato with some tuna mayo and some Caesar salad at the side with a wee bit of grated parmesan on the top and that was lovely and light. Moving on to today, we had steak pie. So you'll have seen this one in my shopping haul. This was from Sainsbury's. We had some broccoli at the side. That's the beef stew there. A couple of potato croquettes just for a wee change from the mashed potato and the puff pastry on the top. And we all love a steak pie and I do have quite a good recipe for a traditional steak pie, a video recipe which I will leave linked underneath in the description box just in case you want to go and check it out. So that was our meals this week and a big thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. Thank you once again guys, it's very much appreciated. So on to the winner of your Degusta box for April. So it's quite a good box this month, a good variety 
of things in there, I feel. I, I, just, I just think these boxes are really good value for money in general. And don't forget, you know, if you do want to sign up for one, my B code will get you £5 off your first box. So this is the website I use here. It's commentpicker.com and you basically pop the video into that wee box there and it will go and find your winners. And I think there were 146 comments or potential winners in this month's video and again if you haven't won this month you know do check back again next month because i do these every month so good luck and there is your winner there so andy cousins congratulations to you and well done so what you're going to have to do now is get over to me on instagram and send me a dm if you don't follow me over on instagram you will find my email address in the description box underneath this video it's ask what's for tea at outlook.com you just send me a wee email or dm and we'll get your box on the way to you i'll just need to obviously get your address from you and it will be on the way so thank you all for entering this month and like i said these are in international so wherever you are in the world you can get involved in these you know I don't mind I'll post them anywhere <laughs> it really is absolutely no problem so thank you all for getting involved and I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe or back on Friday for my wee shopping haul or even back here next Sunday for meals of the week but whenever you choose to join me again remember to have a wonderful rest of your day take care and bye for now bye now